Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the duck adventure for April the 20th. It has been pouring, actually, it's pouring rain right now. Um, the Canada geese are here. I'll just walk around. They'll probably take off on us. Oh, listen to them. Yeah, there they are. They're here again. It has rained. Like, well, the swamp's flooded right now, guys. And the ducks, I'm not letting them out because I've got to go to town today. I've got to run to the post office. All right, let's just, uh, oh, listen to this. Let's see what's going on in here. No, no, duck, you're not coming out. Holy mackerel, she's raining hard, guys. All right, let's see what's happening in here. Okay. I got a, some wet eggs in here. Okay, a duck went into that one. Yeah, they were in there. Oh, look at that. But they're not Muscovy eggs. Oh, God. Yeah, these aren't Muscovies. No, not Muscovy eggs at all. Yeah, there are no Muscovies on this side. They're nice and clean, though. Real nice, clean eggs. All right, so what's on this side? Yeah. Well, they're definitely in here using them. Wrong ducks, though. Oh, that one, uh, there was a yolk. Either yolk broke or she got a little bit of fluid when she laid it. Uh, I wonder where the Muscovy... I bet you the Muscovy's laid all their eggs in the barn. Oh, I just broke an egg. I stepped on it. Alright, that looks like a Muscovy egg. I'm going to leave it. But I just stepped on an egg. Have you guys probably heard it. Oh, there's a Muscovy egg. So I'll leave that one. I'm going to leave the little Muscovy eggs. Oh, look at them. They want out so bad. Yeah, I don't see any other eggs in here. They got to be all over in the barn. All right, it is just pouring. I'm not working outside today, guys. Well, I got to, like I said, I got to run into town. I, uh, I, I sold some stuff on eBay, so I got to go pack a bunch of glass and. Oh, I see an egg over here. Yeah, a guy he scooped up a really good deal on a bunch of glass. I got a shit which takes forever to pack, but. All right, there's an egg. All right, let's go into the barn. The ducks want out really bad. Unfortunately, not today. I'm not going to be here. So, and I don't want to let them out if I'm not around. I got to I gotta protect my ducks. All right, oh, and Doug, he's not out here with me today because I'm a little bit upset at Doug. Um, you wouldn't believe what he did to me last night, guys. Well, with this really bad storm that's blowing in, and it's, it was bla bad all night. Like, you, that wind was... It was actually... The wind was howling like it was a movie. Uh, it had that, that really... That almost dog howl sound to it. It was really unbelievable all night. Well, it turns out Doug was afraid of the wind. He woke me up. Well, actually, the third time he woke me up, I had enough. And I kicked him out of the room. And I uh, made him, he went downstairs and slept on the couch. I'm, uh, you know what it's like to be woken up? It was like 1 a.m. I wake up, and you're not going to believe it, but there's this dog sitting on my bed, clawing at me. And <laughs> this is the crazy part. I, actually, I wish I would have had a camera for it. He's clawing at me to get under the covers. And then he pulls the covers back. And, 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 that's a Muscovy egg. Yeah, that is. Over here. Well, it's going to be breakfast. Um, he clawed the, um, the, the covers back and then went underneath the covers and all the way down to my feet. 
and went around in circles in the bed under the covers. Like, I was like, I wanted to go to sleep and I couldn't even stop him. Like, it was like I was half asleep and, you know, and you've got this 130 pound plus dog taking over your bed, pushing you aside and, you know, ripping the covers off of you. Okay, we got a Muscovy egg over here. Okay, I think what I'm going to do this morning is I got two, I'm going to put the Muscovy eggs in my pocket here for right now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them back and put them over where the other eggs are. Oh, come on here. Oh, did I just chip that egg? No. Okay. I thought I heard her. I felt a, uh, a cracked shell. Yeah, so Doug last night did this to me three times. I was like, okay, third time, that was it. I, uh, I said, that's your going. I opened the bedroom door and kicked him out. Then I come down the stairs this morning, and he didn't even want to come into the kitchen. He was afraid of the kitchen. So I don't know. Yeah, these nest, that nesting box is really rotten. I just threw it back in here last night. Okay, now I got a problem. I got the egg <laughs> jacket pocket. I'm bending over here. Look how clean these eggs are. Oh, what a difference when you, you know, you have a nice spot for them to lay their eggs so my night was just brutal I woke up this morning like and it was like not good yeah we got this we're light on eggs today this is a late morning okay that's a little Muscovy egg that she just dropped all right I'll put that in there so I got I think I got five in my pocket here Yeah, this is a light bucket this morning. I wonder if it was because of the storm. It was crazy. You know, well, it was so, it was, I'm laying in bed, and it sounded like I was living on a freaking horror movie set, the howl sound. But I, the reason I figured out it was the howling sound was I got Doug calmed down. Oh, there's a slam door. I got Doug calmed down. He was all calm. And I, I, you know, I had my arm around him, and I was like, okay, Doug, you got to stop this. I want to sleep. I was so tired last night. And <laughs> I'm still tired because I'm never going to sleep. But um, as soon as the wind howled, he would start to shake. And then he would get all agitated and get all freaked out. And I'm talking, like, totally freaked right out. I've never seen him that freaked out. Actually, the, the shock of the fence, Nothing compared to how freaked out he was last night over this howling sound and it wasn't you know like he's afraid of you know howling creatures because you know Doug is Mr. you know running into the bush barking at everything and you know and hunting coyotes and things like that but it was just the sound I, I don't know if it's because he's never heard it before and actually last night yeah these are Muscovy that's definitely Muscovy I can tell better in the color out here yeah these are four Muscovies I could tell, you know, last night that, that I was back to the sound. I've n I haven't heard that sound in a long, long, long time for the wind to make that noise. So, all right. So we're going to put these four Muscovies right in here. And if the girls want to, we'll, we'll see what happens. You know? This is a big experiment, so I've never done it before. But the nesting boxes, you know, definitely work. The ducks are are going into them. Because every nesting box has had a duck. And we just got to uh, get the whole get the ducks uh, isolated. So it's just some scobies on this side. Guys, you wouldn't believe it. It's only five degrees Celsius, and you know we got a nasty wind, and it's raining. So it's like a nasty day. So I'm not uh, I'm not working outside in this weather. All right, guys. I don't know if I'm going to be filming anything more today because, like I said, the weather is supposed to be. We're supposed to get the calling for 45 millimeters of rain. So that's about you know, an inch and three quarters of water. That's a lot of water. So this is this might be it for the day. 
I was just coming in uh, with the bucket of uh, eggs and two things happened. I'll show you, the geese are now right up by the creek. Right there. The male's there. And the female, where was she? I just saw her. Okay. She, they're so good campers. Oh yeah, she's right there in front of us. It's hard to see without glasses during this small viewfinder. But they're coming right up. Now, another thing that happened when I was on the back deck washing my boots off here, uh, two ducks flew out of the bulrushes. Right, I'll show you actually where they flew out of. It was right in that area. Two little ducks. So we got ducks uh, in the bulrushes. So they could be making a nest. So we could this year. You know, end up having uh, um, some wild ducks and maybe some geese here this year. This is, we'll really have a, a selection of birds. You know, it'd be neat if the little ducks uh, and they, you know, and if they, you know, they have we have little wild ducks and you know, and goslings, and wild Canada geese. That if uh, they get so conditioned that they hang around with my flock, that would be awesome. So the, the geese are getting closer and closer to the house. Well, everybody, we're going to do a first for the channel here. We're going to do an unboxing video like all the other big YouTube channels when they do unboxing videos, except that we're going to do one that's geared for backyard flock people. Now, this is uh, the um, uh, the heat lamps, which I ordered, uh, or I should the infrared heat lamps, the ceramic heat lamps I ordered from China, which I can't believe they mailed it in three different packages. I don't know why they didn't do it all in one big one, but I guess uh, it was cheaper this way. Sometimes it is that way when you're shipping international. All right, so what do we got here? Okay, so I don't have my glasses on, so I'm, I'm doing this in blur vision. I'm doing it so I can film it for you guys here. So, what have I got? It's in Chinese, right? It's all in Chinese. All right, I... Uh, <laughs> okay, what does it say? It says 250 on the top, so uh, we'll see what this is. Okay. Well, that's pretty tiny. All right, guys, I've got to get my glasses on so I can see uh, what this is. Okay, I don't know how this is going to turn out here. I've got my glasses over top of my uh, the pivot heads. So this is, holy moly, it's 250 watts, and it's that small. That's crazy. Like, guys, that's... Uh, I wonder if that's really even 250. Well, they say it is. 120, uh, 110 to 120 volts, 60 hertz, but that means nothing, but it's, uh, Frisch, Frisch, that's what it looks like, Tropica Terra, well, this is it, guys, this is, uh, my answer to my heat problem for, uh, um, the hatcher, so there's, uh, I take it these are th all three, uh, these three here are, are um, 250 watt but I ordered four so why isn't there a fourth one okay, well, that one says this one says 200 watt oh they've got it completely mixed up yeah that's a 200 Are they ever tiny all right I'm gonna grab um, I've got a socket we're gonna get a socket and power one up all right guys I'm back with the socket here so we'll, uh, we'll throw the, I hope I'm filming in the right place here. I've got glasses over top of the pivot heads, or pivot heads with the glasses over top of them. So let's just see how hot this gets and how fast. Okay, we got heat. Oh yeah, she's getting warm, quick. I don't know if it's getting uh, as warm as fast as a light bulb would, but... Yep, just getting too hot to hold. You can't hold your hand against it. A lot of heat coming right off that surface. I'm going to let that just lay on the side of the uh, uh, bench here. I'm going to get really hot. We'll see. Oh, okay, there's that's 200. <laughs> okay. There's the so these uh, should solve the problem in the hatcher because last year the hatcher 
Okay, this one's got nothing rolled on the outside of it. The hatchet was too bright inside. I didn't, uh, a lot of you commented on that and I didn't like it either. All right, so this is 100 water. Oh, I've got, because I've got 200, uh, 250 for the bottom of the hatcher and then 100 waters for the top. I'm just going to grab magic marker and right on top of that. All right. Okay, so that's uh, the first three pieces. Yeah, this one I'm going to write on this because their writing is not that clear. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I'm going to move this stuff to the side because I've got a hot lamp going over on the other side of me here. Okay, so what's in here? Okay, they just mailed like that. No packing. Uh, no protection. I guess they don't. Uh, I guess they, you know, as long as they don't get smashed real hard, they don't break. It just tells you they've got to be pretty tough then. Another 250. Oh, yeah, so this is, it looks like it's, uh, they're all the same. I just can't believe how small they are, guys. They're, um, they're like a, I'd say, oh, half the size of a heat lamp. Okay, so there's two more. There's 200 watt. Oh, this one here. They're, they're packaging though it uh, <laughs> it's not bilingual like it uh, calls for in this country okay yeah, there's another hundred okay. I can't believe how cheap they were though that's a 200 I uh, it was like it worked out to nine dollars Canadian uh, landed uh, which you know they're they're all of the ones that you see uh, online are uh, basically by the time you land them here pushing 25 bucks okay. oh, what's this one here it's a hundred. So what I did was I ordered exactly double what I needed uh, just in case because we know the Chinese situation it can be uh, very iffy. So I decided uh, I you know I needed uh, four of each, so I ordered uh, eight. I needed two of each. And I ordered four of each. That's what I did. So yeah, that's a two hundred. I'm just in shock how small they are. Oh, that's uh, what's this one here? Okay, this has been double bagged. I guess they figured more plastic bags is more protection. <laughs> Silly Chinese. Okay. So it's looking like everything's here. Okay, so what we got? What's here? What's this? That's a 250. I just can't trust them. You know, they're right on the outside to scribble their 250, and you, you gotta wonder. Yeah, this one says it's 100. And it is. I just wonder how hot this is now. Yeah, she's got some serious heat coming off of it. I think it's going to be a lot better. Uh, it's going to be interesting, you know. I got, like I said, I got to do a little bit of screwing around with the hatcher this year. I'm just feeling the heat on my face. It's definitely hot. So it's going to be interesting to see. I'm just going to move that over so it doesn't fall off the bench here. Um, how I'm going to configure this and how, you know, because light bulbs, you know, I was using for heat last year. 
they're uh, you know it, it's, it's a lot of light when you don't need the light and you want it dark because you know really the uh, you know the ducks you know any actually any bird you know when they're hatching they're underneath the mother in darkness so this is another 250 this is not as exciting as unboxing electronics unless you're real you know, into uh, doing what we're doing and uh, this is this is my kind of excitement I just hope they work they should uh, because last year you know like I said I was using light bulbs so this is gotta make a little difference here and, and plus I can get more heat because I'm not going to be generating light because if you're generating light that means you're uh, generating less heat so this is pure heat and yeah, that's a hundred and they're all different names this one's fucks in it's uh but the same box I mean uh, the retail box well they're their little retail box Okay, so in uh, what do we got here? 200, 250, 200, 200, okay, so they're all the 200s. I'm wondering if I ordered more than I thought I ordered. I'm gonna have to check. It was like, well, okay, I got five of each. I'm positive I only ordered four of each. I'm gonna have to double check this. He's a gear goofy dog. Yeah. Well, while we were in town at the post office, we picked up some more feed. Oh, Doug, you're just all screwy today. I'll do what you did to me last night. I'm not too happy with you. Oh, you're a nut, Doug. Okay, you're getting all crazy. Okay, Doug's losing it here. <laughs> he, oh, last night, guys. He, uh, all right, I'm having a hard time here. Finding the strap. There. I'm so bagged from what he did to me last night. All right. Oh, yes, and I did. I checked the order, and I did order five. Okay, Doug, relax. Yeah, the, uh, the... The Chinese vendor sent me uh, one extra of each size, so we can either look at this two ways, guys. We can look at it positive that they're really nice and they send us one extra, or they know that they're, they're, they have a failure rate of 20%. So I count on a failure rate of, of 50%, so they, you know, they sent me one extra, so we've got to be good because I only needed two of each. Poor ducks were locked up today. I'm not letting them out because I'm... Uh, I'm going to go and have supper. I'm starved. Oh, look at the can of geese are right beside the pen. They were right beside the pen, guys. I spooked them. They were really not even 10 feet away. Any ducks laying in here? Let's take a look here. No, no ducks. Oh, we got another egg though. Okay, so I'll put that inside. No. I think uh, we're not going to get any nesting action here, guys, until I uh, I get the Muscovy separated, which is tomorrow. It's only supposed to rain uh, the rest of tonight. We're supposed to, it's supposed to warm up. And then, uh, like tomorrow, it's supposed to be like something like 12 or 13 degrees, and and the rain is uh, is coming to a stop tonight. So the cold, damp, wet is uh, over today. And then we can get the uh, the birds separated properly. So 
business. They didn't even play in the water today. I filled that last night and it's not even like they they're not well it's been raining so you know I'm stumbling for words you guys when it's raining the ducks don't go uh, in the water I just can't believe the geese are still right there they're right there oh. <laughs> they're probably wondering why the ducks aren't out today oh maybe tomorrow I can hammer these posts back down is uh what the, the uh, fence posts are all coming out of the ground with the frost so I'm just waiting for the ground to totally thaw so that I can give them a tap with the sledgehammer and push the post back down, the, you know, the three, four inches that they come up. Oh, Mr. Keep Me Up. Oh, Dougie. I can't believe that last night howling. I'm still, I'm still in shock from what he did to me last night. It was brutal. And I tell you guys, when a 131 pound dog, you know, decides that he's afraid and he wants you to get up with him, <laughs> they do a pretty good job of getting you up. Couldn't believe it. Dog. Oh. If you weren't so cute, I'd be upset. I'm not kidding you guys. I am so tired today. I like, I'm not, he can't, he, like, I, if it happens again, I'm going to throw him straight out. I'm just going to put him in, uh, down the downstairs and he can go to sleep on the couch. I'm, uh, I'm not going to try to walk him through it because I tried, you know, trying to get him through the whatever, you know, the freaked outness he was, he was going through and, uh, it wasn't working. He had a mind of his own last night and it was the howling, uh, because as soon as the howl started, he started shaking. All right. Well, that's it guys. Tomorrow's going to be a big day here. We're going to get the grid. We're going to get the, the grid in. I can't even talk today. I'm so tired. Plus, I spent all day packing orders, uh, which is a good thing, getting rid of things out of my garage. But, uh, um, and the link's below. You know, check out the eBay store, guys. There's lots of stuff there. Make me an offer. You never know. It might be something you want. And I'm, I'm willing to bend on the price. So I'm, uh, I'm done for the day. I'm going to go and have my supper. Well, I thought I'd give these guys a snack. It's, uh, my ducks ate all the scratch I put down here the other day. But they're letting me walk right up to them. Watch, they'll turn around and attack me. Oh, like, they're really letting, they're small ones though. They're not a big Canada goose. Like, I believe this, like they're still not flying away. Okay, well, let's put some scratch down here. I'll put it on top of the rocks. heard a short yep I just heard a short guys all right we got a short aha the frost is pushing the fence out oh. I thought I heard another one there yeah the fence is getting really crooked from the uh, frost Plus, you can see here, I'll show you, see the wires lifting up? Because everything's coming out of the ground right now. So, any day I'll be able to take the sledgehammer and hit them back down. Oh, okay, we're getting... Okay, the wind. Okay, the wind's causing it uh, to short here. Oh, that's going to freak Doug out tonight. He doesn't like that. <laughs> Poor dog. Yeah, ducks, I know. You had to be locked up today. It sucks. All right, the geese are coming back. Oh. All right, I got to fix the fence. It's really cracking now. Oh, yeah, I was looking here down the fence line. The whole fence is going like this The uh, from being pushed up by the frost. It needs to be uh, retightened up after everything dries out here. All right, where did I hear that snap?
Okay. Those metal bars help take the, the wow out of the wire that happens here. Yeah, the fence, I, I got it. Well, like I'm planning on making the pen bigger this year. It has to be made bigger because I'm not going to have a thousand ducks or try to have a thousand ducks in this pen. Last year, you know, it was 720. And then, the, you know, the, the, the lockdown is what the problem is. And even at night, it's just too much at night. I want to get it so that the pen's much bigger and they have more room. Well, that's it, guys. I'm going to go have my supper. The can of geese is right down there. They're still there. I threw down some scratch for them. We'll see what's going to happen here uh, if they're going to eat the scratch tonight. I know uh, my ducks ate the scratch the other day. All right, ducks, see you in the morning.